our next talker uh, speaker is Jonas Venäläinen. Uh, he is from Anders Innovations, DevOps engineer there. The talk is about outputting robot framework report using GitHub Actions. Let's enjoy the talk. My name is Jonas Venäläinen. I currently work as a DevOps engineer at Anders Innovations. And today I'm going to be talking about outputting robot framework reports using GitHub Actions. So let's begin. First, I'm going to start with the motivation that drove me to build this tool. So I used to work a lot with robot framework and Jenkins while back, and I really enjoyed the robot plugin in Jenkins. Uh, after I started using robot framework with GitHub workflows, uh, I soon started missing same kind of functionality as the Jenkins plugin had. So then I decided to build one that would offer similar functionalities as the Jenkins plugin did. Next, more about the actual tool. So it can be used through GitHub action. The tool is written in Golang. And on the right side, you can actually see how the actual output from the tool looks like. And shortly, the workflow of the tool. It takes XML file as input. So when you run the robot framework test, you have the output directory, which contains the output XML file. So the tool, tool takes it as an input, parses the file, creates markdown representation, and lastly, it sends the markdown to GitHub. Next, let's see the actual workflow. So on the right side, we have the GitHub workflow file, and if we quickly go through it, so this workflow will get triggered on pull requests, or when there is a push to master branch. There is two jobs, one for test, one for report, here we are running the actual robot framework test and then we are uploading the test report as an artifact. And on the report stage we are downloading the previously uploaded artifact and by default the action will look the output XML file inside the reports directory. And lastly we are using the default GitHub token available in the workflow to call the GitHub API in the tool. Next, we could quickly look into the reporter action user configurable settings. Uh, there's four settings available. And if we look at the reporter action repository, here we can see the four settings that are configurable. Uh, first, we have the access token, which is used to call the GitHub API in the tools code. Uh, then we have the report path. By default, it looks the output XML from the reports folder. And then we have the GitHub SHA. And lastly, we have the pull request ID. So these are the four settings that are user configurable is time for the actual demo. So here we have the demo repository. We have a couple different suites for the tests. Nothing special here. And the workflow is actually the same I showed previously. Nothing new there. And I already opened PR here just to save time. I will actually trigger the run now. Yeah, let's see. So now, now the workflow was triggered. It will first run the test stage I showed you previously. So basically, this now gets run first. And if we actually look the process here, it 
takes a while so it first pulls the docker image that is used to run the tests so now it did pull the image and is now executing the tests so here we can already see that one test failed yeah so now it did store the test report as an artifact and now as the test stage is ready the report stage was triggered takes a little while to spin up so yeah so now it did download the report from previous step and it actually did parse the report and output it so if we now look at the pull requests here we can actually now see see the result so basically there was one failed test and we can see here like so the page should have contained text 12 dollars but did not so now if i actually fix this So yeah, now I pushed the fix there and if I refresh it, I can actually see the test run is triggered again. Now it is running the tests again. takes a while again as it has to pull the image again now it finished and now it will actually execute the tests and now we can all already see see from the output that the test did pass now so now the report action is triggered again and if we watch this and here we can actually already already see that the result output was updated right away after the report action finished so now everything is passing and everything is good so there is there it is short demo how the tool works thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can reach me in robot framework slack and if you want to contribute to the project that is also welcomed or if you have any ideas how to improve the tool those are also welcomed and here is also the links to the reporter action and to the actual reporter code and also the demo repository used in this talk thank you